Hi folks, how you doing? I hope you're keeping well today. Uh, I wanted to do a video today about online CV builders, one in particular, Kick Resume. Uh, so this is kickresume.com. Um, and these CV builders really should help you with the, the design and the content of uh, your, your CV. Um, I suppose when we think about these, it can be nice because if they can help us with templates, if they can help us with formatting, layout, and also describing your role, describing your experience, uh, that can be super useful. And then if it's easy to uh, to duplicate the CV and tailor it towards another role, that's going to be perfect. I suppose when I think about CVs, I think not just about the style, uh, the design, the layout, those types of things, but also about the substance. So uh, the content of what we've put in there. Uh, so which is more important? Well, they're both really important. I think um, substance is more important, but uh, obviously a nice style, a nice design is going to speak to your professionalism as well. The same way, if you dress well, it's going to speak to your professionalism. Okay, um, so let's get into it. You can see I've shared it on my screen. This is kickresume.com. Uh, I'm going to log in here uh, and just uh, talk you through it. So I'm going to log in my Google account and show you what it's like on the inside. <clears throat> okay, great. So you can see... Um, they have a, a section where you can apply for remote jobs, but also you need to have your CV ready first. Uh, they have a premium version where you can unlock more templates and uh, you can do more features. And then down here, you've got resumes or CVs. Uh, you've got websites. That's like a, a personal website you can create from your CV. Cover letters, um, obviously something to attach to your CV. And then resignation letters, which... Um, uh, people can struggle with because they can feel, you know, it's difficult getting the right tone uh, and so on. So resumes here, create a new resume from scratch, um, create a resume with artificial intelligence, so it's going to help write for you, import from LinkedIn, uh, or use an example. Um, I think the resume with AI is an interesting one to start with, so I'm going to go with that. It's an interesting uh, feature because it pops up this uh, kind of chatbot that you can fill in. So I'm going to type in my name here, Ron Kennedy. It's going to say, uh, what's your most recent job title? So I'm going to say career coach. Uh, oh, impressive. Oh, thank you. Okay, here comes the best part. Let's pick a template. I recommend one of these, but if you want, you can browse them all and pick one later that you like. Okay, so let's see. Um, actually, let's browse them all and see what they've got. Okay, so they've lots of nice um, graphically designed templates here. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I really just want to uh, give you a sense of what it's like. Um, so let's see. I like these ones with the uh, uh, the charts and stuff over here. So let's go with this, Jane Jackson. So just as this is uh, firing up, um, I suppose it's good to maybe have a CV, uh, a current CV ready, so that you can um, you can take some of the, the key ideas from it. So you can see nice design. They've got my photo in there. They've dragged that in from Google. <clears throat> Personal information, uh, a profile, um, my work experience. Uh, but this is all like standard. They've just written this using AI. I haven't touched this at all yet myself. Um, and they put in skills and they put in strengths. So these are all things to be uh, tweaked. Um, so we've got fill in, you know, we can add various sections here. Um, if I click on new section, Oh, no, that doesn't work. Um, so these are the sections here. So this is how I change stuff over there. So I can put my phone number in. And then that pops up over there. That's great. Date of birth. I'm not going to... I don't think you need date of birth or really uh, nationality most of the time. Uh, and I don't think we need really address anymore. I, I just think that that's too much personal information. Uh, I don't see what your address has got to do with uh, getting a new job. Maybe if you really feel you need to, you put in the city. And then the profile as a career coach with extensive experience in guiding individuals towards their professional goals, my objective is to help clients achieve success and satisfaction in their chosen careers with a proven track record of identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities for growth, dedicated to providing personalized guidance and customized solutions that meet the unique needs of each client. My ultimate goal is to empower individuals to take charge of their careers and achieve their full potential. So it's written quite a nice generic profile. And it's really about me um, in, in general uh, or my role in general. Um, so I guess <clears throat> while it's nice and it comes across well, um, I think it would be nice if it was more 
uh, more specific about exactly what I do, but also how I do it. Um, so adding in metrics or ma adding in a specific techniques that I would use or adding in big achievements um, that I feel I have um, or, or specific soft skills, making it a bit more unique, a bit more individual, I think would be good. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting a CV builder uh, like this to have all of that information. Obviously, I have to put it in. I'm just saying, uh, I think it's worth spending some time to put that in as opposed to just um, uh, just accepting what they have gotten there. Uh, also, the other thing, if you've watched my other videos, uh, you've probably heard me say this before, uh, to tweak this uh, profile towards the job that you're going for is really important because then it shows how you're saying, uh, I match what you're looking for. So it's not just about me, it's really about me for you. Uh, okay. Um, so work experience, you can put the work experience in here, the company name, um, the job title, okay, and then the time period. So you say I currently work here, it gives you a present up there. Coach and mentored, yeah, successfully about workshops, collaborator. So I think this is a really nice way of starting off. I mean, it's just done some of the heavy lifting for you in terms of trying to think up exactly what you're trying to say and it's helped you write that already. Uh, another good way of writing these points is if you think to yourself, what is the sequence of activities that you do in your current job? Like what's the first thing you have to do? What's the second thing, the third thing, the fourth thing? And um, if you go through those steps, it will help you flesh out exactly what you're trying to say here. Uh, there's lots of other tips, but that's just uh, one to kick off. If you want to add further experience, you can do it here. And then these are the premium sections. So the premium is like, um, uh, let's just see how much it costs here. Oh yeah, so it's it's not actually five euro a month here, just it can be confusing. That's yearly, uh, it's monthly, is 19 euro a month. So if you only wanted to do this for one month, it'd be 19 euro. And if you wanted it for, for the whole year, it would be 60 euro for the year, which is just a breakdown of five euro per month, okay? And the free version gets you, uh, you know, a lot, uh, unlimited downloads and four basic templates and so on. But I guess uh, I would like to put the skills in, I would like to put the strengths in, the hobbies in, so maybe I would consider upgrade, up, upgrading to the premium in this case. Uh, you can see down here, they give you the opportunity to add more uh, sections, uh, like achievements. Um, I suppose the other thing, is, yeah, you can put achievements in there, but you can also put them in, uh, you can put one or two in your profile, or some people would just put them in, you know, down here like this. So you wouldn't necessarily need to pay to just put achievements in there. Um, you know, if you have one key achievement per role, uh, putting in like that would be would be fine. Um, awards, certs, education. Yeah, I think you're going to want to put in education. So in this case, really, probably you will have to pay if you want to add that in. Um, strengths, publication, skills. Um, you might want to put in your social media accounts. It, it, all of these things really depend on sort of role you're going for. If you're going for a role in let's say the public sector, your social media is probably not gonna be so important, but if you're going for a role in a digital agency, it's gonna be super important. So all of the things you put in your CV and the way you, you know, uh, display your professional experience is really about demonstrating your brand, who you are, what you bring. Um, so you, you know, that's why it's, it's important to tailor it. If you're going for something like in the public sector, probably they're gonna to have to get you to upload your information to their site, not create a separate CV. But if you're going for anything in tech or anything in the creative field, this sort of graphic design CV is perfect, I think. Um, and I think these types of CVs will come in more and more uh, as we as we go. Um, so you can see there's, there's really an opportunity to put in anything you want there. Um, even if you're, uh, you, you know, you want to write a separate section, you can just use text, uh, and that's that's really open ended, or volunteering, okay. So I think this is really nice, really easy to use, really well, well laid out. And then at the end, if I want to uh, download it, which of course I do, I can download it in PDF or export to Word. Um, oh, to export to Word, I need to pay. Okay, gotcha. Um, I guess I would like to export it to Word because I wanna see, um, I just in case some organizations ask for it in Word and sometimes they do, um, I want to be able to use it that way. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how well um, the, the CV scanning technology reads PDFs. Um, so for the moment, I would like it in Word. Probably they'll get better and better over time. Um, 
if I want to download it in PDF, um, oh yeah, okay. So if I want to download the PDF, I can do it now, but I just need to knock off the premium features. Okay, but uh, yeah, some nice, uh, some nice features there. Uh, uh, nice ways to download and share. So look, overall, I think this is a really nice tool. I think it makes it easy to, uh, to design a CV, gives you lots of different templates, helps you with the writing, helps you with the formatting, um, and I think ultimately makes your, your life easier. Um, I think some people will probably be concerned or probably prefer not to uh, pay for the premium features, um, and, and really these are the premium features, but I guess um, on the plus side, they do offer uh, the the web, you know, uploading it to the website. They do offer very nice design, um, and they do offer you know cover letter and resignation letters. So I suppose the whole package uh, does add a lot. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this uh, useful. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to do some more reviews of CV builders soon, so you can decide which one suits you best. All right, thanks.